The real estate market is slowly rebounding. If you're trying to sell your home, one easy step to make your home look great is staging AKA making your home gorgeous for potential buyers. Realtor Elizabeth Sadie is here with the skinny on why it's so important. So Elizabeth, what is staging all about? Right. So staging okay. is really about um, pre-packing some of your items and decluttering and then rearranging furniture just so that your house um, appeals to the most amount of buyers. That way you're gonna sell for more and you're gonna sell quicker. Now one of the most appealing parts of a house is t typically the kitchen. So what, what do you wanna do in the kitchen to set that apart? Yes, the kitchen. So in this picture here, just a couple things to point out that are very simple and absolutely free to do is um, come in and clear off the front of your refrigerator and the top of your refrigerator and then this has pictures so you're saying no pictures no pictures right. and then clear everything off your counters except for maybe three things that would be what I would recommend in your kitchen to really make it shine so just clean clean clean, clean and and clutter free exactly okay so let's talk about the family room what what people what changes should people make there because it's it's you have to remove a lot of personal items hobby things memor memorabilia yes and this is important in every single room of your house to make sure that you're removing um, personal photos and then any sports memorabilia like in this picture we've got all the KU banners up on the left and it's it sounds really funny but when folks come to look at a house there's so many times that they stop and they comment on it. and if you have a K-State banner or an MU fan coming through your property, you don't want them paying attention to the banners and that you're a KU fan and maybe getting a chip on their shoulder. You want them paying attention to things in your house. To and the with house, yes. Family photos, I can't, every, anytime I'm showing a house and there's family photos, people stop and they're going to ask, you know, make comments about your wedding colors or, you know, where you went on vacation and they're not looking at your home, which is really, you know, the hardwood floors that you paid extra money to have refinished or the crown molding that you installed that, that's really going to help sell your house. They're the, looking at your personal They want to talk about the wedding pictures and right. it's distracting. Okay. Okay, so what other things were done and what other things should be done in a family room? Um, other things that are done in the family room is rearranging your furniture and, and getting rid of a lot of things. Like it is, you're going from living in your home to selling your home. And so it will feel very bare and it'll feel um, kind of like a, a model home is what you kind of want to stretch for. It's good to bring in a stager or have your realtor come in with fresh eyes and kind of tell you how to rearrange furniture or what items to get rid of to show off the most square footage and really neutralize your house. Do you tell people to hire a stager? I I actually provide a stager nice. to, to my clients and they come in and give them a list, you know, room by room list with a checklist of what to do. Now what about a vacant home? Do you have to make it look like somebody's living there? Yes, and this is a condo that was just listed on sat um, Saturday and the sellers were nice enough, they've moved out, so nobody actually lives in this condo, but they were nice enough to leave furniture, which is great, because vacant properties, it's hard for buyers to understand how to place furniture and they, they're kind of confused. So here, um, a stager actually just borrowed this chair from another room in the condo, this brown chair, to bring in some warmth, added the um, color over the fireplace in this piece of artwork, and then just a few accessories. So now the space makes sense, and the buyer can kind of relax, pay attention to all the windows and the great view, and just you know start to, to envision themselves in the property. Elizabeth, I gotta admit this. This bearskin rug or whatever type of rug, that looks a little familiar. Is that maybe similar to the one we have on our site? I think it's, it's strikingly similar. Strikingly similar. All right, sounds good. Well, the other thing I want to talk about is smells. I, I'm a firm believer, like I have people that bake cookies before they have potential buyers show up. What, what would you suggest about smells? I know that's a weird one, but it's just something I want to No, know. I think it's always great to have a nice fresh smell when they come in, but baking cookies, I mean, brewing coffee, and um, those are all things that you can, you can definitely do if you have the time, and just to make sure that you do have a nice smell, um, light candles if it's, if it's going to be a short trailing time.